so in last class we discussed about so what is automation and what is importance of automation and what are the tools available for automation and introduction to selling right so first of all what is automation automation is nothing but automating some manual tasks by using tool or utility is called automation automating some manual tasks by using tool or utility is called automation so why we need automation the main purpose of automation is avoiding human errors to avoid human errors we need automation right so yes we have a so many automation tools we have a so many automation tools why to use only selenium okay what are the advantages of selenium and what are the components in selenium so we are going to discuss today so today majorly we are going to discuss about what is selenium or the features of selenium and we are going to discuss about the components and we are going to use the first component right so yes what is selenium selenium automates browsers okay so selenium automates browsers so why to automate browsers why to automate browsers what is the use of automating browsers and so why it is automating only applications so very simple so we have a four kinds of application right now one is web mobile and uh, api okay client server and desktop we have a api is not application is a back end okay majorly the front end applications are web application mobile application desktop application and client server application for example if you are working on a facebook facebook is a okay which application web application or mobile we have a both we have a both we have a web as well as mobile so here if it is a web means we can access through browsers right so if you are accessing through browser if you want to automate this i mean application means we need to automate all these browsers what are the browsers supported by selenium if you return test case for one browser we need to execute the same test case in multiple browsers in real time we are going to perform os compatibility browser compatibility what is browser compatibility we are testing an application on multiple browsers what is os compatibility we are testing our application on multiple os right yes to check the compatibility to check the compatibility yes we need to automate browsers only we need to automate browsers only so okay so here this selenium design for automating only web applications what is example for I main client server application very simple okay all your database client server we have a client and we have a server or all version controlling tools example for client server ah so here what is example for desktop application any application required installation any application required installation comes under desktop any application required installation is nothing but desktop so yes so like like a ms office acrobat raider all our desktop applications for this one we need installation yes to automate automate web applications we are using selenium so why to use selenium in general in general 
So if you want to purchase anything or if you want to learn anything, what we are going to look first? Features. Why you gathered here? Earning the money. Right? So to earn the money, we should know about what are the tool we are going to learn. What are the features of the tool? We should know, right? It's a minimum thing. Right? If you don't have any feature, are you going to learn anything? Are you going to purchase anything? No, right? So, yeah, we have one. Okay. Samita, enter the free ghost. So, if anyone giving them in uh, acid freely, are you going to drink? No, right? So, we'll check. We have a, any features or not. If you don't have a feature, no one not going to use it. Even if they are giving freely. Right? Yes. The first feature, as we know, is an open source tool. To use this tool, no need to purchase the license. It's an open source. As everyone knows, here Selenium is open source. Open source tool. No need to purchase any license. It's an open source tool. Selenium is a open source tool. It's a free tool. So, yes, we have a, so many commercial tools. So, if it is a commercial, number of users less. If it is open source, number of users high. Let's say, before, five years before, before WhatsApp introduced, we used to purchase SMS packets. And they are going to count each and every SMS. Now, mobile companies giving 100 SMS freely are in a position to utilize once an WhatsApp is introduced. Are you going to use that SMS? Hmm? No. Why? We have a free tool. Okay. SMS is a commercial tool. WhatsApp is a free tool. So, which one we are using majority people right now? WhatsApp or SMS still? WhatsApp. To communicate with a friend, we are using WhatsApp. Why? Why can't you use SMS? It's a commercial tool. And that I mean, that I mean, SMS, uh, messenger is not that much common, uh, user-friendly also. If it is WhatsApp, we can send images, videos. Okay. We can tell, we can send a number of messages. Yes, it requires data. That is a different story. WhatsApp required data, that is different story. Not only WhatsApp, nowadays every app required the data. So, and the cost of the data is cheap now. Right? Yes. So, for this reason, in real time, more than 80% clients looking for open source tool. Okay. Selenium is open source. Okay. Even if it is open source, it supports many browsers. Okay. It's supporting many browsers. Right? So, if you want to automate web application, you should, the tool should support browsers. Yes. What are the major browsers on the market right now? So, we have a multiple browsers in the market right now. What are those? We have a Firefox, we have a IE, we have a Safari, Opera, Chrome, and Edge. It's supporting all these browsers. It's supporting Firefox, it's supporting IE. Right now, it's supporting only IE 11. Microsoft is encouraging to use Edge, not IE. Okay, yes, even if people are using IE, it's supporting IE. Which version of IE is supporting? Only 11. It's supporting Safari, it's supporting IE, and it's supporting Opera. Opera and Chrome and Edge. Chrome and Edge. It's supporting all major browsers. Apart from this, do you have any other browsers? Firefox, Google Chrome, IE. Edge, Safari, and Opera. 
apart from this six do you have any other browsers in market right now no we don't have so these are the major browsers yes selenium supporting all the major browsers what are the major browsers where the market is supporting all the major browsers yes and not only browsers it's supporting many operating systems it's supporting many operating systems what are the major os on market right now hmm we have windows we have mac and we have a linux these are the three os in the market right now windows mac and linux it's supporting all these three os it's supporting windows it's supporting mac it's supporting linux what are the what are the major os in the market right now it's supporting it's supporting windows linux and mac apart from this as we discussed in the last class the extension of selenium is called apm if you are using apm it going to support okay android and ios apps okay this is extension of selenium so if you are using this apm it supporting android and ios also okay by default selenium supports only this three os if you are using this section chain it supporting so yes automating android and i i was right yes the next one not only browsers and os it supports many programming languages it supports many programming languages it supports many programming languages yes selenium supporting this many programming languages so it supports c sharp ruby java python and javascript is supporting five programming languages is supporting c sharp ruby java python and javascript is supporting many programming languages is supporting c sharp ruby and java and python javascript so if it is supporting multiple languages why majority people are using java as their programming language what is the reason sir is there any specific reason why majority people are using only java as their programming language yes in general so majority people okay so here try to live in hometown yes or no why hometown hometown everything is free hmm hmm then why you, are, you want to stay in hometown hmm so if you are giving job opportunity other location yes 80% people will reject only 20 people 20% people will go for other location if you are giving any job opportunity in the burgan location how many members are ready few. only few so burgan also we have a it all those things why why you are not showing interest okay hyderabad only free for you burgan they going charge milk is free here rent is free here uh, then why what is the reason you are not born bought up hyderabad 
okay and you were even you were not born brought up in gurgaon also but why you are showing interest for only hyderabad is there any specific reason very simple here we have a friends colleagues and family members relatives if anything happens suddenly yes so we have a some confidence my friend will help or my relatives will help or my colleagues will help we have a some confidence when he was staying in a your home town right okay there is no that much confidence in other home town except this behemen uh, confidence there is none of the other reason to stay in home town Yes or no? The same manner, so Selenium supporting multiple programming languages. Why majority people are using Java as their programming language? So the reason is very simple. Selenium API defined in the Java is more compatible with Java. Is more compatible with Java. For example. so you want to perform data driven testing during data driven testing you have to read data from excel or you have to read data from a db yes in this case selenium api itself is not supporting selenium it is not supporting for this one we are using java api to read data from excel or we are using java api to read data from database this flexibility is there with java yes the same behavior available in other languages also but is more compatible with java for this reason in real time more than 80% projects they are using same with java combination after this the next priority is python then c sharp ruby and java the least priority is java Java is a big ocean. Okay, if I learn Java, so instead of a developer, instead of a tester, I'm going to become a developer. Okay, like a coding on the board, then a testing coach. Malika Java under it. Software Java is technical Java or non-technical Java? Software Java is technical or non-technical? Technical. Technical. So here, software Java is technical. they are looking people with technical so yes java is a big ocean okay to learn this selenium no need to learn all the things in java only three topics required in java what those as we discussed in the last class oops <laughs> exceptions and collections if you know this three topics is more than enough no need to learn all the topics in java only these three topics required even if you don't know about these three topics i am here to help you right yes we have a more openings and we have a more project with selenium with java combination clear fine the next feature not only browsers os and programming languages it supports many open source unit testing frameworks so it supports many open source unit testing frameworks selenium supporting many open source unit testing frameworks what do you mean by unit testing and who will perform unit testing in real time developer will perform unit testing when they going to perform after development they need to check whether the functionality is working or not right yes for them also they are not going to check this main functionality manually each and every time they will write their unit test cases automation scripts like i mean how the tester is writing automation scripts yes developers are also going to write unit test cases means their automation scripts yes so to write their automation scripts so each language we have a unit testing framework 
For example, if you take Java, in Java, we have a two unit testing frameworks. One is JNIT or one is TestNG. If you take, okay, C sharp, in C sharp also we have a unit testing framework that is N init. Or if you take some Ruby, in the Ruby also we have a unit testing framework that is R spec. Like this, every programming language, every programming language, we have a corresponding unit testing frameworks. These are not standard frameworks. JNA, TestNG, NUnit, RSpec, these are not Selenium framework. These are a unit testing frameworks. This unit testing framework, every language we have. One of the advantages of Selenium is, yes, it is supporting all these unit testing frameworks. If you are using Java, we are going to work with this unit testing framework. If you are working with C sharp, and in it. if you are working with Ruby, ask. So each programming language we have a corresponding unit testing frameworks. It's supporting. It's supporting many open source unit testing frameworks. The next feature. So here Selenium is a cross-platform tool. What do you mean by cross-platform and what is the importance of cross-platform? Sorry, not parallel execution. So here, what is platform? Like changing different browsers, Chrome, Firefox. Platform, nothing but some operating system. For example, you prepare scripting. Windows OS and Edge browser. It prepared scripting Windows OS and Edge browser. Windows OS and Edge. So your client having Mac OS and Safari browser. Your client having Mac OS and, and Safari browser. What are the script written in the Windows? The same script we can execute in other OS. No need to write separate script for Mac. Okay. Even if you prepare script in one OS, the same script we can execute in other OS. No need to write a separate script for other OS. Or even if you prepare script in one browser, the same script we can execute in other browser also. Separate script not required. Is nothing but cross platform. Preparing script in one browser, one OS, the same script we are expecting, other browser and then other OS is nothing but cross platform. Selenium is a, is a cross platform tool. It's a cross platform tool. Right? And, and one more feature. One more feature. In general, so here, when will I mean reach out the customer care? Is there any problem? Okay, if you purchase something and if you have an issue with that product, then we'll reach the customer support or customer care. Right? Yes. Are you purchased any license in Selenium? No. Even if not purchase anything, yes, in Selenium, you have a support. From the Selenium, we have a support. Even if you not purchase anything, we have a support. Okay. In Selenium, the, we have a user group. We have a official user group. If you face any issues, okay, go to, go to this official user group site and you can post your queries or your doubts, concerns. Okay. Open source community is available here to help you. Okay, someone raise a concern here. So here open source people going to help you. Yes. Okay, how many hours you raise the concern? Okay, and the 10th July. 
10th July when he got the reply 12th July yes don't accept the response immediately because this is not a commercial even commercial also in one hour are you going to expect the resolution minimum it required 24 or 48 hours they are taking right yes so here so if you have any issues if you pay I mean if you post here the people will help you right so if you got any issues you can go to this user group and, and you can post your queries for people will help and not only user group we have a immediate chat room also chat room is there so here okay nowadays instead of sending mails so what we'll do chat okay for every product they are creating chat boards we have a active chat room you can post your queries in chat room. okay if people are not helping okay you are really blocked somewhere but you need to proceed further we are unable to proceed further then in this case go for commercial support commercial support okay in my experience we never reach this commercial support yes we have a blockers but our blocker resolve by contracting with the chat room and a official user group if you are really stuck somewhere, if you need a support, really support, then go for commercial support. But in real time, we will never use this commercial support. So all your queries will be resolved by searching in Google. If you know how to use Google, you can become a software engineer. Who is number one director in Hollywood? Rajamouli, all the movies, all the scenes, fresh and new. Hmm? Fresh and new, all the movies, all the scenes, all the stories, fresh and new. Okay, in general, if you are doing cut paste, you are a copy that. Copy, modify, and paste, you are intelligent. Now, Rajamouli comes under which category? Copy paste or intelligent? Is intelligent. Why? You want to tell, I inspired from that movie. Okay, the remaining directors, what they will do? As it is, even they are not going to change the background also. Okay, what are the same here? How they see in other languages? They will I mean copy the same thing here, cut paste. What about Rajmoli? He copy. He will modify according to his story, then he will do the same thing, he will paste. Then we will call us intelligent. If you are doing cut and paste, copy cut. Yes. So more than 95% of your queries is all by searching in Google. If you know how to search in Google, we can become a software engineer. If the Google is not working one day, then more than 80% software engineers is not going to work if Google is not working. Even developers also. Why? Every day they are going to search. Everyone going to search. Even in the real time. So here they are going to block this Facebook access, YouTube access, other social media access, but they are not going to block Google access. Even you are working for a bank project, they are not going to block the Google. But remaining, they are going to block. All social media, all entertainment, uh -huh. this thing they are going to block in real time. But they are not uh -huh. going to block. So these are the major features of Siri. But those open source, it's supporting many browsers, many OS, many programming languages. It's supporting many unit testing frameworks and it's a cross platform tool and we have a support even if it is open source we have a support we have a user group and we have a chat room 
and if you need you can go for commercial support otherwise if not required if required so these are the major features of selenium then then what are the flavors or what are the components in selenium as we discussed in the last class so we have a three components in selenium majorly we have a three components what those selenium id selenium id selenium the flavor selenium grid yes selenium id web driver and selenium grid we have a three components in selenium so what is selenium id so here selenium id is a simple record and playback to selenium id is a simple record and a playback to this feature is common for every programming language every automation tool okay this is a simple record and playback tool we can record the test and we can play the test or or in other words is a i mean is a plugin is a plugin for firefox chrome and edge which records and playback user interaction with browser in other words selenium is id is a chrome firefox edge plugin which records and plays playback user interaction with browser what are the actions we are performing on a browser we can we can record we can play right this is a common feature in all automation tools not only selenium for all automation tool this feature is common so yes so we have a one more tool called web driver what is web driver as we discuss earlier web driver is a so object oriented api is it just api api stand for application programming interface okay so here i mean it is a api web driver is a api it consists some predefined classes and interfaces is api compact object oriented api object oriented api api having some predefined classes and interfaces selenium id is is add on to firefox chrome and edge which records and playback user interaction with those browsers web driver is a object oriented api the next one selenium grid yes selenium grid majorly we are using for parallel execution majorly we are using selenium grid for parallel execution so here yes so to run your web driver scripts in a remote machine or to run test in parallel across multiple machines go for selenium the main purpose of selenium grid is to run your test on parallel across multiple machines then go for selenium grid majorly we are going to use selenium grid for compatible testing browser compatibility and os compatibility we are using grid for 
compatible testing. We have it these three components. One is ID, web driver, and grid. Yes. What is the first component? Selenium ID. Now, we are going to discuss about Selenium ID. We will start with first two. We will start with the first two. What is first tool? Selenium ID. So, Selenium ID is a Chrome and Firefox and Edge plugin which regards user interaction with browser. Right? So, we have a, a multiple versions in Selenium ID. It is categorized into ID2 and ID3. The latest version is ID3. We have a ID2 and we have a ID3. The latest version is ID3. So, can we install ID2? Answer is no. Can we install ID3? Answer is yes. Earlier, we have ID2. Right now, it's not supporting. We can't install. The latest version is ID3. Then, then how to configure this ID3? And hey, how to record and how to play the test by using ID3? It's very simple to configure this tool. To configure this tool, you can use any one of these three browsers. How many browsers we have? Three. But those Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. You can use any one of these three browsers. Yes, right now I'm using Firefox browser. First, first launch the browser. Any one of these three. Launch a browser. Then in this browser, load Selenium web page. Okay, first launch the browser and load Selenium web page. What is, I mean, uh, official site for Selenium? Selenium dot and navigate to download page. Navigate to download page. You have to navigate to download page. This is official site, selenium.dev slash downloads. Simply click on downloads. In download page, in download page, so we have a multiple section. Go to this section, same ID section. In this section, in this section, we have a browser links, Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. If you open this web page in a Firefox, you have to click Firefox link. If you open this in a Chrome, you have to click Chrome link. If you open an Edge, you have to click Edge link. Yes, just now I opened this in a Firefox. Simply click on Firefox link. Yes, once I click in Firefox link, it navigates to this add-on page. Which add-on page? Firefox add-on page. ID stands for Integrated Development Environment. Okay. So, it allows you to record, edit, and then debug the test by using, by using ID. Okay. So, we can record the test. We can edit the test. And we can debug the test. Selenium ID allows you to record edit and debug the test. It's a Firefox Chrome Edge plugin which allows you to record, edit and then debug the test. Now, I'm going to, okay, use this feature. Which feature? Record feature, right? So, to use this feature, we have to configure. Yes, to configure. So, just now I launched the Firefox browser, I loaded the page and I clicked the Firefox link. Once I click in Firefox link, it navigates to Firefox add-on page. In this add-on page, we have a button. We have to click this button. Which button? Add to Firefox. Once I click in this button, it is showing a browser pop-up. It is asking your permission to access this, I mean, things. Yes, 
give the permissions click on add click on add then click okay click okay yes id install successfully once again how to install id very simple first launch browser which browser you have to launch if any one of these three browsers then what next load any web page what next navigate to download page or click on download tab what next in download tab we have a section called selenium id in selenium id section click corresponding browser link click corresponding browser link yes i am clicking firefox link then once i click on this link it navigate to add on page add on page which add on page firefox add on page in this add on page simply click add to firefox then click add then click okay click okay yes id install successfully right in real time in real time so every company we have a it team so it team if you raise in a ticket they going to install required softwares when they going to install if it is commercial and if you have a manager approval then only they going to install if it is open source they are not going to install why especially if you raise a ticket for installing id they are not going to reinstall why they don't know. so if you are learning any open source tools not only selenium if you are learning any open source tools you should know how to configure from a scratch is there any difficulty any confusion to install id nothing we can simply install id right now how okay what is the purpose of id recording editing and debug the test right now i am going to use this feature this feature record the test how to record the test yes after installation after installation launch the browser which browser we need to launch in which browser we recorded and we install the same browser you have to launch then in the browser after installation the top right corner we have a id icon simply click on this icon to launch a tool id is a main tool yes to launch this tool we can simply click on this icon yes it is showing this id tool which version we are using 3.17 for this reason we will call as selenium id3 we have a four options over here if you select this option it closing id to launch the tool simply click on this one to close the tool simply click on this option yes now i am going to use the first option what is the first option record new test in new project i am going to discuss about the first option that is record new test in new project yes simply click this link once i click in this link it is asking project name project name is user defined name you can give any name i am giving project name as test project is user defined name you can give any name then click okay click okay once i clicking okay it is asking the base url base url nothing but which project test case you are going to automate that project url you need to pass no need to pass entire url you need to pass base url base url nothing but up to dot com you have to dot com dot com you have to pass the url up to dot com for example i am going to i am going to record this selenium site test case only for this one we need to copy the url up to dot dev only okay copy and i while copying this url make sure url should consists protocol 
make sure your URL should consist protocol. What is protocol here? What is protocol here? HTTP or HTTPS. Right? Make sure URL should consist protocol. Then after giving the base URL, simply select start recording. Once you select this option, what going to happen? The browser going to launch and in that particular browser, this web page is going to load. Okay, simply click on the start recording. Yes, browser launch and it loaded web page. So in this web page, what are the actions we are performing in this web page? What are the actions we are performing? All your actions going to record in it too. What are the actions we are performing in this web page? All your actions going to record in it too. Yes, I am simply clicking these tabs. I am simply clicking these tabs. All these actions going to record in it too. To stop this recording, launch the tool and simply click on stop recording. Then it is showing, asking test name. Test name is user defined name. You can give any name. I am giving test name as some first step. You can give any name. Then click OK. Then then how to play? To play these recorded steps, to play these recorded steps, simply click on this run icon. Once I click this run icon, yes, it's going to play all your recorded steps. Yes, it played all your recorded steps. Once again, once again, how to record and hey, how to play. It's very simple. First, launch the tool, launch the browser. After launching browser, you have to launch the tool. How to launch the tool? Simply click on this icon, ID icon. If you click this icon, it's launching tool. In this tool, it's showing multiple options. I'm simply selecting first option. What is the first option? Record new test in new project. Select first option. Record new test in new project. Then here it is asking project name. Project name is user defined name. You can give any name. I am selecting project name as test project. Then click OK. Then it is asking base URL. So URL up to dot com you have to pass. Then start recording, select start recording, simply select start recording. So yes, you need to pass the base URL, then here select start recording. So simply click this start recording, then it going to launch the browser, it going to load the web page. In this web page, what are the actions you are performing? What are the actions you are performing? All your actions are going to record. I am simply clicking these tabs. All my actions recording in it, I mean the tool. To stop this recording, so simply click on the stop icon, stop recording. So yes, it is asking skip name. Script name is user defined name. You can give any name. I'm giving script name as a test name as I mean first script. Then click OK. Then what next? To play this recorded steps, simply click on this run icon. If you click this run icon, it's going to play all your recorded steps. Yes. It is successfully recorded and it is successfully played out. Right? Any difficulty, any confusion? To record and play this test, so BTEC graduate is required. 
if i repeat the same thing for 3 days how to configure how to record and how to play 10th class student is more than enough right why btech graduate required for this record option in real time we are not supposed to write skip scene this to which tool say in my id is a simple record and playback tool but we are going to use this too in real time we'll always write skip scene web driver not in id okay we'll always write skip scene web driver while writing skip scene on web driver we are going to use id where exactly we are going to use id and i how to use id in real time we'll discuss so before discussing this thing first i want i mean uh, explain about my course structure one more time so those who are new to today class i need to explain my course structure yes as you know yes this is madhu babu working as a lead architect in one of the mnc big mnc okay so yes i am teaching selenium since 2010 in quality tech and and so i am a full stack tester i have experience on web mobile api and performance for web automation i have experience selenium to java for mobile automation ap met to java for performance testing jmeter for api automation rest assured with java it means what is a common thing java is a common thing if you know this java concepts especially oops exceptions and collection we can automate web applications we can automate mobile application we can automate apis also if you know this I mean java basics we can automate three kinds of applications i mean full stack tester right so yes my class are like a google maps if you follow my classes okay you can easily reach your destination specified time what is your destination getting the job those who are not working those who are working need to switch company and you have to get the more package right so yes you can achieve this target with less time yes if you not follow if not attend in my class yes you can reach your goal but it will take more time if you follow my guidelines yes you can reach your destination or target with less time right fine as part of this course so we are going to cover multiple things first one to join for selenium we are going to teach selenium from monday to friday timing 7 to 9 7 10 to 9 so this demo days we are starting class at 7:30 but regular classes time at 7 and yes to learn selenium as we discuss java is required this three topics required we are going to teach this three, three topics in this time every day, every saturday we have a java class and yes those who are not working we are going to cover bank project yes to automate this bank project test case or any project test case we need a framework as part of this course we are going to cover this many frameworks and apart from this so in real time every project we are going to use devops tools so these are the devops tools we are going to cover as part of this course where exactly we are going to use tool and what is importance of this tool we'll discuss and every class wise we have a material or handle class wise right and every class is recorded and we have a recorded videos and yes every class i will give the task and entry questions possible entry questions and yes we have a dedicated placement team and if you are new to it will support you how to prepare resume i will guide you how to prepare resume and yes as part of this one we are going to cover basic api testing also Uh, what is api testing and how to test api manually and how to automate apis by using java will come 
we have a two types of writings one is signing another one is intensive training if you are looking for training only training so here those who are already working right now working this is sufficient for you guys those who are already working so fees for you is 15k if you pay in a demo days we'll give the flat 10% discount if you are looking for intensive training or job oriented training yes your fees is 30k if you pay in a demo days okay so here <laughs> we'll give flat 10% discount and the validity of this 30k is one year one year will attend my classes multiple times and one year you can use our placement team support the validity is one year for training the validity is 45 days the course going to complete in 45 days if you need more info about our course yes go to our official site and so refer our course contents in detail course content yes even saturday class also recorded that will be shared not only saturday classes all my training classes will be recorded every class for the classes i am taking and this record option is for if you miss some day for example because of your health issue or something else okay if you miss then you can use so if you have a record means okay no need to attend the live classes we can record we can go to record video that is not good suggestion okay yes so is so detail course contents available here in our official site okay so yeah previously you have recorded is that save you want to okay, previous post uh, videos yes we have yes so all what are things we are covering everything available here and yes i told you right we type with multiple companies these are the some of the companies apart from this we have typed with so many companies okay if you get any openings in this company we'll get uh, um, information we'll forward your resumes to these companies okay yes this is about our course structure so any queries any doubts regarding course structure okay Um, I mean about any money you have recorded some flow where it will be saved and okay from where it will be occupied space okay yes so you are talking about this one I am not saved anywhere I recorded but not saved yes we can save and we can play the save test case also I will show you tomorrow how to save and how to play the save test case. So just now we recorded this test case every time. Instead of recording every time in real time, we are going to save this recorded steps and we can reuse it. I will show you how to save this one and how to reuse it in next class. And what are the features of ID, in detail features of ID, we will discuss next class. Why you are not covering today? Okay, Thirlo Samadundi. Anna Prasun Rose, Aapka Thirlo Samadundi. What going to happen if you try to eat? I mean, uh, mango. Uh, I mean, chutney in uh, in another Sunday. It may not digest. You. We'll cover. Don't worry. We'll cover. We'll cover one by one all the things. Okay. Fine. So, any queries? Any doubts? Sorry, we recording one year or kunda sir. Yes. So the validity of this required videos is one area. Yes. 
Okay. 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 Sir. Yes, Suresh. Sir, uh, now I'm working as a manual tester. I completed BTEC in mechanical engineering. I don't know a uh, single point about the programming languages. But even from that one, you will start on Monday from the um, Selenium. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, you, you will be start uh, this one, Java. So first five days, is it a, I'm able to, who has not, not any large in the programming languages? Okay. If you will able to get the uh, this course, is it uh, is it okay? Okay. Uh, are you able to understand today class or not? Yes. Yeah. All my classes like today only. How I teach you today, the remaining 30, uh, 42 days, the class will be like this one. Okay. Yeah. So before going to jump on to web driver, first I will take Java classes. Okay. Not only Saturday. Yes. So before going to start web driver, first I will take two days Java class. Once you are good with Java basics, then only I will start this web driver. Without Java basics, I'm not going to teach you web driver. Okay. Don't worry. I will take care of these things. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Any other queries for online students? So do you have class uh, this Saturday? I mean to say Java class? Uh, Saturday, we don't have a Java class. We'll continue the Selenium class only. But so, okay. Uh, we'll take the Java topics in the next week. Not only Saturday, in the weekdays we'll take. So after completion of ID, before starting web driver, we'll take. But we have a class on Saturday. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Any other queries? Okay. So if you don't have any queries, yeah. Today your task is very simple task. Configure ID. Task number one. Configure Selenium ID. And task number two. Record and play the test. You have to practice, record and play the test. Record and play the test. Any, any site you can record and you can play. That is task number two. Then, then what are the possible entry questions from the last class and today class? Question number one. What is automation and explain its importance? What is automation and explain its importance? What is automation? Automating some manual tasks by using tool or utility is called automation. So what is importance? Nothing but advantage. Okay. So I will give the only questions. I'm not going to take the answers. Okay. You have to write answer your own words. Okay, you have to maintain two nodes. One nodes for running nodes, another nodes for interview questions and answers. After attending the class, you will know the answers. You have to write answer your own words. Okay, don't expect answer from okay from my end. You will know the answer. Anyway, we'll give the questions based on the today class topic only. Next question. What are the components available in Selenium? What are the components available in Selenium? Next question. What are the features of Selenium? What are the features of Selenium? Next question. Which version of Selenium are you using? Which version of Selenium are you using? So as part of this course, we are going to teach you the latest version that is Selenium 4. We are going to teach. Okay. We have a multiple versions. Okay. Right now, the latest version is 4. 4. ID is 3. Web driver is 4. Selenium version is 4. As part of this course, we are going to cover 4 Selenium 4. 
ID version 3. So any version. Next question. What are the programming language supported by Selenium? What are the programming language supported by Selenium? Next question. Which programming languages are using your project? Which programming languages are using in our project? Right? Yes. So we'll meet tomorrow to discuss about where exactly we are going to use ID and ID features.